Okay, you go away. Oh, you go away as well. I guess that's it. Exactly, you can socially engineer people. So what are we doing here? Kingra. Our darling day. So no end crate marauder most likely. We can do a ship. I just put down a ship. That could be okay. Of course, school is to make good workers. I don't think so, but but what would be a better question is should the primary purpose of school to be is to make more to, to make good workers because I don't think so if I would say currently with my head what should be the primary purpose of school is to and, and this is kind of counterproductive to a uh, government staying in power is to make smart critically thinking people who are in a way capable of thinking revolutionary uh, revolutionarily so like but that's not really rewarded you know and and also capable not not just capable like you know can like fix your toilet or something but but like meaningfully capable like doesn't really have massive like uh issues but like they are like like learning a psychology like that that's that's like a big one that i would like to see i think that would be a big one. after the industrial revolution school was exactly that to make good workers USA, USA has power, but it's not a good or healthy country. Uh, it almost feels like that the schools change a little bit. It almost feels like I'm I'm not sure about this, but I almost have the impression that schools changed a little bit. To maybe maybe the people are are maybe more even more compliant these days. I think the schools shifted to. So they even more structured. And even even back then, when I was in, in school, it, it, it was it was pretty structured. You're just like you know, you just do this, do this, do this, do this. You know, if you're like doing something else, or you're just like uh, thinking differently, then just fucked up, basically. Uh, I I well, that made me remember that one time I was actually like. Uh, I was in class, and uh, we were analyzing the meaning of a Hungarian poem by a famous Hungarian uh, writer. Okay. And, guess what? So, I put in a, a, like a, a reasonable effort to figured this shit out that I don't even care about. And we came up, my team, of like four people, of course, like three of them did nothing. One was uh, making, uh, uh, well, looks at me. So it, I was pretty happy about that. And I was, uh, I was uh, out there to really show, show the teacher uh, my piece of my mind. And... Uh, and uh, as it turned out, uh, what I was thinking was incorrect because there's just only one answer that is correct, and every other, uh, uh, every other way to think about it is just incorrect. So I, I didn't have it right. So I was dumb. Don't you pester me.
And the the reason why it kind of popped up is because like the, the the kids were like, you know what? That that sounds like a, a hella good idea. You know that that kind of makes a lot of sense. Not like I was just like making up dumb shit, but like you know I was like referencing the war and shit like that. And and like the kids were like, yeah, man, that that sounds like a good idea. But no, that that wasn't it. So what the fuck? And not like we're talking about some fixed thing. Like, not sure if you guys care, but like, not like we are talking about like fixed thing. Like, she just decided what it means. So it was just basically just opinion. Your own feelings. It was a class about just Hungarian history, Hungarian literature, where feelings mattered of the teacher and nobody else god damn it that was dumb <laughs> let's pass we like humanity <laughs> fuck seven down ah uh, fast I'm not going to debate semantics. People are assholes, and we should uh, be more kind. It's not. It wasn't really about being as asshole that time, but like, I like. It was obvious like critical thinking wasn't encouraged whatsoever. In a way, it was just so dumb. There's only one solution. Schools are more likely more now more like teach you to be a mentally slave but i'm not even sure if she realized how i'm not even saying it was dumb like the, the entire entire class was a bit pointless no one give, gave a shit about a poem no one cares about poems even like when i was uh was in like high school and uh not like we were like on our smartphones or anything no 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 like we were, not, we were not doing that and still no one gave a damn about poems so it completely failed uh, on all levels. It, it, it made zero sense. But now I'm just thinking back on it. But like when I was like, was over there, I'm, I'm like, at, at the time, it was just like, it was just another day. But now I'm thinking back on, back on it. It was, it was so bad. Holy fuck. And ultimately, that's kind of what, what really pops up. That, you know, just the whole school time, although I was... I was definitely an idiot at the time, but it was kind of a bit of a waste of time. Well, at least it wasn't the most uh, productive way to spend some time. You love poetry? I don't. I almost hate poetry. And although I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, my feelings about things is are 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 seriously affected by by the school. Uh, when I was uh, well, that's it. Like the kind of uh, teachers you get, if they just give you like a poem that you. But freaking hate, and uh, do that, or just reading material, because that that was a thing. Like instead of giving you reading material that kids actually cared about, uh, they give uh, the kids reading material they they didn't care about, and uh, uh, that surprisingly didn't work out as well. Uh, they just had uh, people read the Queen of uh, stuff they didn't care about. And surprise Pikachu face, they didn't care about it. So that wasn't the best, the I think. Unless that was the point, to make people hate reading at the time. Which is it's just really dumb, because that's just uh, the just, uh, method of... That's basically just the method of gaining information from a book. How can you make people hate books? By just by giving them the, the worst books ever. <sighs> K 
Okay. Let's hit that. Why did I get started so much here? <laughs> uh the bat uh school school. But I'm kinda I'm kinda happy that we're having a meaningful conversation. Anyway, GG Kingra. Uh what are we doing here? Oh, probably not that. I might just kill that guy. Yeah, that looks good. You were lucky, middle class, uh, went to private school, never saw real hardship, but I have met people who have shown me that the world is not fair. Well, the world is really not fair. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, I think we might want to play Lambert right away. Is private school any better? Ultimately, there is not much you can do about it. Anyone can do about it. What is a little bit just fucked up. And, uh... By the time you realize it... Uh, it's already kind of too late. Because you probably, like, you're, you're kind of at the point... Although, when you're, like, kid in school... You just... You can't really affect too much. When you're, like, young adult... Or just, like, a little bit older than that... You kind of just realize more of the problems. But you... you couldn't really fix school, so you might... I don't know. It's its kind of a process. But the most important part is a little bit just uh, working yourself if you can. Or at least uh, that's kind of my Across story. Wide, and it's definitely a work in progress. Holy shit. Not get in the way of me, I'm a messed up person, guys. <laughs> Last for Django. What? Um, I'm not sure if we should Django that right away. We might want to Django it last turn. So... It's gonna be a bit tricky. To... Let's just burn her. We shall do it my way. Okay. We discard one of the crate guys, and of course we discard Morgwarg. Trying to follow you, Artful, as well. I suppose you... Maybe I'm misinterpreting it, but... You're kind of getting to the point where... Uh, people are not really open to challenging their views, or... Uh, Considering, or even looking for, uh... I need to actually... Maybe we're just gonna play the Great Marauder here. Uh, looking for, uh... Ways to change their mind. I was asking which Python web development is framework is better, but you're right. Uh, Java Spring is the best. <laughs> Java Spring. Uh, uh, wait, what? Let's go Django. <laughs> I was like, what? What do you want with Flask? But we got we got a Django. <laughs> uh. Uh, Voravnia. Uh, 
Well, I don't know what we are doing here. Just pass. Well, in a long... I'm not too concerned about long run. Uh, currently, I am uh, not really uh, someone you would call a web developer by any means. I am just currently like a student. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, try to spend like an hour a day, at least, if I can. Uh, doing, uh, doing, a, doing a little bit and trying to read about it. That's kind of what I'm doing. And um, I'm, oh, of course, following FCC. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't, can't say too much about it. I'm pretty good in, in uh, JavaScript. At least I think so. At least according to the challenges. And I did some pages and whatnot. I, of course, I used to uh, learn computer science, so I got a, a decent understanding of the basics already, or had a decent understanding of the basics already. Oh fuck, that's problematic. So he is looking to. Okay, I think we need to block that. It's so bad. That was actually fairly successful. So that cost me cards. I need to play nine points in two cards. How do I do that? Well, this is no, okay. Eight points in two cards. How do I do that? Actually, we can do that. Don't you pester me. Wait, is it eight points? Yeah, that's eight points. Oh, this kind of sucks. Alright. That's good enough, but... Uh, he actually ended up losing the... Are you trying to be a front-end developer? Uh, that's the plan, currently. Uh, full stack, overflow, for the win. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I do go to stack overflow. Um... If that's what you're talking about. From time to time. Hmm, I think I need to kick this guy. Yep. I I may have forgot, like are you working as a... In the field, Verovnia? Because I definitely had a chat with... Uh, some uh, web developers in the past who... Uh, were in the chat, but I don't know. I may have forgotten, I need to apologize. It was a joke. Full stack equals front plus uh, back... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh... I don't know, like, uh, I'm, I'm following the free code camp, uh, course, if you, if you're familiar with that. Um, uh, that, that's what I'm doing. Uh, in the past I was actually trying to do this as well, that was like a, a couple years ago, and I ended up, uh, uh, I don't know, kind of running out of resources, and I'm just, like, I, I actually had you know, spend some time just looking for resources, and that was kind of annoying.
Come on, Art Fool. <laughs> uh, now that you brought up IQ or just like... That, that could be like a... More of a complex issue. The thing is... Uh, that's actually something that reminds me from IQ. That uh, and low IQ uh, people are gonna be more affected by that is that uh, the jobs as we know them are completely going away. So and. And there's nothing that's gonna replace them. There's actually a really good video about this uh, that I was a hu that I'm a huge fan of. I think it's by CGP Gray. It's a very good video, but I might be wrong about it. I think it's about CGP Gray, uh, but of course you can learn about it in other sources. And uh, it, it, it's a huge problem that uh, that society is just not designed to handle currently. Okay, let's just uh, kill one dude. And it's true that uh, not everyone is uh, is ready to just like um, go from one job to the next. Like, not not everyone is like uh, capable of that, and that's just kind of the reality. Even I'm kind of a fucked up person. There will be many more poor, poor people in the future because of this. They won't be poor. They will not have a use. But in the video, I'm actually was act I'm actually referencing. It was uh, like the horses were brought up as an example, and I really like that video because it just makes it very easy to understand the the problem. Is that it's just not not really getting better, really. So, mm, I might have to play Donar here. It's kind of the same. No, no, no. Let's just play Donar. The future is not gonna necessarily bring, um, well, likely gonna bring, uh, Practical jobs for humans. Even right now, even right now, uh, there are a lot of jobs that that they really serve no purpose. They're just basically there to supervise the machines, which is, I suppose, it's still like a job, but not really a very important job. It's definitely gonna be a big problem in the future, and the, the thing is, like, uh, those people are not gonna be cool with that, so... And it's gonna be a majority of the population, it's just gonna change, and I'm not saying, like, dumb people. That, that's just, like, uh, a little bit hurtful to say, but... <laughs> no, that's definitely not it, like, like, the majority. Maybe we can learn to stop being evil? <laughs> that sounds good to me! Not your lucky day. The problem is the game uh, kinda set up in such a way that I'm calling the, the live game is that 
yeah, we kind of screwed here. That, uh, that's not what's rewarded. And ultimately, I can't blame it on society. Because in the past, that's how it was also. So. I suppose this can only be solved by abundance in the future, but... And I think that's the only realistic uh, way that greater equality can be achieved, so... Without getting too political here. GG.